We're here at Vic Edelbrock's garage in Torrance, California, and today we're going to learn about plumbing. Russell Performance Plumbing to be exact. Now if you're like me, you could be a little bit intimidated when it comes to plumbing. Supercharged cars, race cars, any cars have a lot of plumbing and it can be intimidating when you've got all those hoses and fittings and adapters to choose from. So today, we're going to talk to an expert from Russell who's going to teach us not only which ones to choose, but also how to set them up. So I'm here with Rick Rohauer from Russell, who's been with the company 25 years. Been with them for 25 years. So you know everything there is to do with Russell? Pretty much. Been here from the ground up. All right. Well, I guess we'll start with the basics of how to assemble a Russell hose. That's what you're here to teach us today. But first, what types of hoses have we got here in front of us? Correct. Today what we'll do, we'll walk you through the assembly of our stainless steel braided product, which is either our ProFlex or our Pro Race hose. It's a 308 stainless steel outer jacketing over a synthetic rubber inner, which is a chlorinated polyethylene, which works well with any type of fuels. As well as that, we will do the assembly of our twist lock series, which is basically just a twist in hose end. And then our newest addition to the product line is our Pro Classic hose, which utilizes either a crimp on end or a reusable end. So the main difference with the hose to start off with is how to cut each one. What are the differences? Correct. When you cut either the Pro Classic or the Twist Lock, you can use a pair of hand shears or a razor knife. So pretty when, simple. Pretty simple. When you get cutting the stainless steel braided, it's a little more complicated and I'll be walking you through that step by step. The first thing we do, and you just take the tape, wrap it around the hose, then you just take a regular hacksaw and just cut right through the hose. Take the socket, start it on a little bit of an angle, work it around the hose, and you just squeeze it down, turn it backwards till you bottom it out. From there, you put oil on the threads, and all you do is take this, and you just tighten it down until the bottom's out against the red socket. Okay, there you go, it's bottomed out against the socket. The hose end is fully installed on the hose. And at this point, all you'll need to do is wash it out with either a solvent or even soap and water and just blow dry it. Now that we've completed this assembly, let's put together the twist lock. The way the hose end works, actually we have the barbs on the, the nipple portion of the hose end. And what you do is you just twist it and push it inside the hose. So that's it for the twist lock assembly, but we've still got one more hose to assemble, which is the Pro Classic. All right, Rick, so walk us through the assembly of the Pro Classic. Okay, after you've cut the hose with your shears, simply you would utilize the hose end, which is just a collar, and the push and insert. The collar goes over top of the hose, the insert just goes down inside, and you just push it in until the bottom is out, so you just push it all the way down inside the hose. You need to make sure that you put oil on the nipple to make it a little bit easier for the insertion into the hose. You put it into the crimper, you have an alignment on it, it's an over center style crimper, so you just push the handle down until it stops and is permanently attached. In addition to the crimp style hose, reusable hose ends are available, allowing you to easily mix and match hose ends to fit your application. So here now with the legend, Vic Edelbrock, who's going to tell us a little bit about Russell. Why is your plumbing called Russell? Well, that was, uh, Russell is uh, the name of Dave Russell, the founder of, of, this, corp, of this company. Uh, and Dave was a guy who was a drag racer. And uh, after the war, uh, there was so much surplus uh, around from airplanes and all the P-51s and the B-24s and all the stuff, B-17s that were made. Uh, they all use this kind of fitting setup with a braided stainless and uh, it actually came from a company called Aeroquip, which is still around. They owned the patent on it at the time. And yeah. uh, when he started uh, putting it on his engine, people saw it and they said, well, you know, put some on my engine. Finally came, well, why don't I just make some fittings? So that's how it started and uh, it just kept growing. It's a, it's a very important ingredient to a, to a car, whether it be a race car at Daytona or a circle track car on a dirt track uh, uh, during the weekends or just the everyday. Pretty much anything. Yeah, pretty much anything. Let's learn a little bit more about the product from Russell with Jason Snyder. 
Russell as a company um, was acquired by Edelbrock back in 2000 and really three initiatives uh, with Edelbrock since acquiring Russell are quality control, variety and product solutions. And on the quality control side, like all Edelbrock facilities, Russell is manufactured and produced under ISO 9001 quality management standards, which is a OE standard uh, required to do business with companies like GM, Ford, Chrysler, uh, Honda, and Toyota. Second, on the variety side, is just the fact of making sure you cover all your markets. You know, this market evolved from really industrial usage into a specialty niche with engine builders, you know, race, race car chassis builders, street rod fabricators. You know, we merchandise it and provide solutions for the average consumer who has one car at home in his garage. And we package the product and, and offer the variety that he needs to just do his car in his garage without being a specialist in the field. We offer a variety of specialty adapters just for these market segments to make sure that someone can put a late model LS1 or LS3 motor into their classic you know, Chevy, uh, Chevelle, or, or Camaro, and you know, essentially bolt on adapters that they can then plug in uh, fuel rails quickly and easily and safely. Well, we've had a great day today, and we know a lot more now about Russell Performance Plumbing. Not only how to assemble it, but which ones to choose. My name's Bucko. Now, hopefully, I can find the keys to this thing. Thank you.